Galera Internet, we're at Orake Korako, which is another geothermal area, but this one's a bit different because you have to access it by boat. Once across the lake, you get to just wander around where you like as long as you stick to the paths. It's an active thermal area so you have to take a bit of care. There are a lot of safety signs around. This is the diamond geyser which may go off any time in the next two to three hours. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be close enough when it does that we can come back and see it. Oh, there's bubbling in the sapphire geyser. It looks like it's building up a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm just going to keep pointing the camera at it until it does something exciting. Or until my arms hurt. Oh, there's something happening up at the top of the hill there too. And in that little cave. Oh yes. Oh, it's looking more impressive. Oh wow! The sign sort of seems superfluous when the water is literally boiling. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the colours specifically. Just yeah. My brain is like, no. It's just this colour in a landscape is dangerous. Yeah. Tiny, tiny fern growing through the cracks in the path. I like this. It looks like just a lovely little forest pool until you realise there are bubbles coming up. And they are probably not from fish. Yeah, definitely not fish bubbles. <laughs> I don't know why it is, it's like still hot pools, like just a pool, even a mud pool, seems less unlikely than running water that's boiling. That's, there's something really weird about seeing running water that you associate with coolness and freshness, and it's boiling. And this place is just so incredible and yet they say this is nothing compared to what the pink and white terraces were. They must have been amazing.
I just missed the beast of it. This geyser is called Wairiri, which we think means angry water. If it is, it's a very appropriate name for it. It's just bubbling and grumbling along there. Oh, there's a wee geyser there in the background. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Like, you can tell why they don't want you to go off the paths because, like, yeah, those kind of things can just open up under you. Hey, waka waka! Oh, the wee one over there's going too. Oh, yeah, it was going before, and then I saw the, the bigger one down here. Oh, the bigger one down here is also going. I had some tourists before saying, Oh, it's not very big. Yeah. I kind of get what they mean because, like, you know, you see the ones in, yeah. in like, Yellowstone, they're mm. enormous. Yeah, and the, the big one in, in town is, is like that. Yeah. It's really huge when it goes, but but they're still just as exciting. Yeah, they There's a very big cave down there, and that's where we're going. So this is Rotapu, the sacred cave. The pool is Waifakata. It's the pool of mirrors. There's a memorial sign down in the cave, but you're not allowed to go down there anymore, so they've taken a photo of it, which is helpful. So I think the sign said this is one of only a couple of geothermally active caves in the world. Yeah. And the other yeah. one's in Italy? Yeah. Because the caves, like caves are usually really stable. But yeah, I definitely would not be going into this one. Yeah, the whole steaming vent at the mouth is probably enough to tell you this is not entirely stable. And that water probably isn't as nice as it looks. Mm -hmm. It's so cool. Something pretty down there. I'll find out what it is. I think from the sound you're going to get to see your mud pools. Oh yes, that's what I was just thinking too. Mm. Please do a section called bloopers. That's just blooping mud and blooping water all over. It's just for Jay, all the bloopers. I think the ground can't read. Mm -hmm. Nature's sparkle. Mm -hmm. Just slightly hotter. Was one of the more amazing places I've ever been. Really, again, worth coming to. I think I've said that for every place we've been on this trip, but it is. 
don't forget to do all those nice internety things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment and I will see you next time. Ka kite anō internet.